We're just going to send this as far as we can. No. No. Not. This is not. This is not good. I'm trying to, to hold the wheel straight. Hello, everybody. I'm Evo Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa in a no hezi server for a bit of a force feedback challenge, if you would say. So we're going to go driving in this tuned 1M. If we crash, this force feedback number is going to get increased. So every time we crash, I'm increasing my force feedback. I do not recommend trying this at home. We are on my R12. So this could get uh, pretty sketchy. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow the description box below. <laughs> Let's get to it. So we're initially starting off at 100%. And like I said, every time we get into a major crash is when we are going to increase our force feedback. So hopefully we don't end up breaking a bone or a thumb or anything like that once we get up into the really high force feedback. So this is something I know a lot of people have probably done before, but I decided I want to give it a shot here today. Oh, that was, that was, that was almost a, we almost died. I don't consider that a crash, so I think we're good. I'm going to go down here. This is definitely going to get extremely sketchy as the force feedback gets higher, especially if we were to crash with higher force feedback. So we do have a little bit of gap here. We got a pretty easy section right now, but we know it's going to get a lot worse soon. Oh, uh, that wasn't a, that wasn't a crash. There it is. That's going to be it. So that's that's a crash. So we're going to increase our force feedback by, I'd say, 25. Oh, that... Oh, man, that makes that much harder. It doesn't feel like it's going to be too crazy bad right now. It's going to be the crashing part. Oh, actually, it's the speed variable, too. It gets a little bit stiffer in speed. I don't think we're going to make that. I am really surprised we made that. So at 126 percent, or basically over 26 percent higher than 100 percent feedback on this R12. Doesn't feel too bad yet. Oh, that's going to be it. Yep. I just do not want to hold on to that. So that's another one. So we're going to go up by another 25%. Oh, man. Yep. This is going to get a little bit on the more sketchy side now. Oh, geez. Get a little bit of room to run for that. We're trying to do this as far as possible without dying. We're going to get that little bit of a gap right there. We're going to shoot over here. Yep. You can tell. <laughs> it's getting a little bit more intense with the feedback oh oh we're not gonna make that oh we did nope okay well 
I don't really want to keep going up higher in the feedback, but we're gonna keep going. 175 now. Yep. Oh man. Yeah, you don't want to let go of this. R12 at 175% in the game. I don't want to crash already. Oh, jeez. That's uh, getting a lot harder to make quicker movements. No, no, no. We got it. We're going to make that. We're going to make that. Oh, I don't know how we made that. There's like very little sections of paths that we can take. I don't know if we should have taken that. But I think we're getting this now. I don't think we're gonna be up in the feedback much, but this is definitely an arm workout right now. No. No. I, oh. Okay. So we're going to be going up to 200. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. Oh. That is extreme. <laughs> we're, we're peaking our force feedback in our game. And it's making it extremely hard to turn. So I'm not entirely sure why my game decided it wants to do freeze my wheel cam and then crash. We're back at 200% and we're going to see if maybe that's what crashed my game. But we're at 200% force feedback. As you can see, we are definitely peaking our, for our uh, wheel just by doing minute little movements. Oh, as you can see just doing normal turning to weave through traffic is peaking. We're gonna get a little run room here. So definitely would not recommend trying this. Uh, it is uh, quite, quite scary to say the least because the moment we crash the moment we just need to let go of the wheel. Oh, like that. Just let it go. So we don't die. All right, so now, since we crashed, we're gonna keep going. We're just gonna go up by 50s now. So we're at 250 now. Oh, oh man like I said just barely turning it we're already peaking the feedback okay. I, don't, I don't consider that a crash we're gonna keep going oh man so if you guys want to see more funny stuff and stuff like this here on the channel let me know down in the comment section down below I appreciate all the support Wait, it's really wobbly at speed Yep. That Audi uh, is just staring at us. I don't know if we're gonna. We're just gonna go 300. We're gonna go straight to 300. We're gonna go send. Maybe the last. Oh my god. No. Maybe the last level we go up for today's episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All it's from the description box below. Oh, yeah, th there's there's no way. <laughs> if I just let it go just a little bit, this wheel wants to go crazy. <laughs> so as always, as always, I appreciate you guys for coming back and watching. Make sure you guys sub to the channel. I appreciate the support. Got some thing brewing in the works for all you newer drifters that are trying to learn. Yeah. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification if you guys want to be the first 
for the videos when they come out. As always, I appreciate the support. We're just gonna send this as far as we can. No, no, not, this is not, this is not good. I'm trying to, to hold the wheel straight. <laughs> I don't know why we haven't crashed yet. No. No. Nope. De we're dead. We're dead. I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous.